and this is clever, and you use balloons, and you dip the balloons in the melted chocolate, and it creates almost a flower-like image on the bottom of the balloon. Now we're kind of running out of chocolate, so we're having to cheat a little bit. It looks bit. like a bad toupee. Actually. And then we and then we <laughs> let it and then we let it dry and chill. And then we pop the balloon and peel the balloon off, and you're left with a chocolate bowl. All right, let's see. Now we let it just kind of drip off. A little bit. And then place it on Boom. the pie. Yeah. Wow, it makes Thusly. Right, you do the Thusly. Okay. Perfect. Oh, that, that's how you got it. She did a perfect one. That's okay. Okay, you got it. All good. right, good okay. job, guys. Do you hmm. want to explain what you're doing here? I am marinating. Ribeyes? Ribeyes. Ribeyes. Uh, With olive oil. Lemon and zest. And lemon zest. And a steak rub. And, sounds crazy, Italian seasoning. And Italian seasoning. And then we're going to grill it. Is lemon zest what you use to clean the dishes? <laughs> you can, and you could clean your house. But it gives meat a bright flavor. Do you want to see the other side? Yeah, check the other side. Yeah. Look at Wheezy's face. barely even look at me. <laughs> oh, Bryce what do we got going on? Right there. Oh, Bryce. Go for it, Bryce. Go for it, Bryce. Oh, that could be it. Traffic jam. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got to go sideways and then... Yes. Little brother's job is to not oh, waste no. any chocolate. Oh, no. All right, I got to get a close-up of the balloons in the fridge because this may be the first time we've enjoyed like balloons. <laughs> yes, it's good. So you're putting the peel of the lemon on top of the meat? I like to, it's very unorthodox. I like it because when it's such a thick cut of meat, mm -hmm. it really makes it bright, in my opinion, and more flavorful. And can you explain what's happening with the asparagus? Oh yes, asparagus has lemon zest too. Only so kosher salt, uh, fresh ground pepper, garlic, and grated Parmesan. That's gonna go in the oven. 15, maybe 20 minutes, 425. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see you again when we make cheese souffle shortly. Oh, it's telling you it's I'm angry that it's I need dishwasher now. <laughs> You're the dishwasher? <laughs> as right. long as it's chocolate. Yes. Okay, Abby, what are you working on? Uh, I'm working on the strawberries for our chocolate yes. goblets that we just put in the mm -hmm. fridge. And how do you make them? Because if ever there you was just... a family deserving of a fully functioning kitchen, she would have been. And up and down in little upside down triangles. Because we, I was that we have so you're turning yeah. your strawberry yeah. into Legos. <laughs> Basically, but very pretty Legos. Edible, pretty Legos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what are you doing, Ted? I am buttering ramekins for cheese souffle. And yes, I wash my hands a number of times before I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was dying to know. Okay, so what's happening now? Um, ooh, so this, this is Jacques Pepin's mother's recipe on cheese souffle. Very untraditional. She, this is actually one of my favorite recipes. One of the first recipes I ever used when Ted and I started dating. Um, she did not know, according to the recipe, that you had to separate egg whites from the yolks and that you beat egg whites to stiff peaks. And uh, the story goes, she whipped them together. But she did it by hand, but I'm cheating so it would get a little bit more lift in them. And then she made her bechamel and she put her cheeses in them. And then into the oven they went and they rose beautifully. So instead of separating, we're doing it like her, but we're using an electric mixer. What's a bechamel? Uh, butter, flour, milk. And now what happens? Now we're pausing because I need to check the asparagus. What's happening, Audrey? So I'm making some caramel right now. It was just a quarter cup of sugar and a tablespoon of water. And it's been about three minutes and it came to a boil. And I'm thinking maybe another 30 seconds or maybe it's done. And then I'm gonna measure it into these six cups for my flan that I'm making. Now I'm nervous because like, what if I didn't make it? It's just food. It's just food, take your time. Oh, I don't think I made enough. That's okay, take I your time. You can make more. So this is a just... lot of it boiled off, I think. Yeah. That could be enough. Oop, this last one. Yeah. We're cooking out the flour taste for a minute to two. Then the milk and the cheese are gonna go in. Add the cold milk, two cups. Whoops, as I spill it all over the cooktop. And then we're gonna cook it until it's thickened. 
which is a couple of minutes. When this is cooler, we're gonna add the cheese and the beaten eggs. Then we scoop it all into our ramekins that I'm going to dust with Parmesan. Um, so the souffle as it raises has something to cling to as it rises up. That's not a Jacques Pepin's recipe from his mother. What is this Jacques that you speak of? Jacques Pepin is a French chef who's been cooking, I don't know, 60, 70 years his whole life. And I, I think his recipes are wonderful. All right. Happy cooking is what Jacques Pepin says. Happy cooking. But he probably says it like this, right? Happy cooking! <laughs> yes, that's exactly what he says. So we're adding the cheese, some fresh cracked pepper. Add a little more cheese so I can get an action shot. Put a little pinch in now. All right. And then some salt. It's about half a teaspoon. This will help bring the temperature down, and then we can add the eggs, and then we won't be making scrambled eggs. Do you want to see me dust the ramekins? I would love it. A pinch in. Are you dusting for prints? I am. Uh, Ted's uh, buttery fingerprints. <laughs> Your pictures this past week of all these people that you've met have been amazing. I think uh, my favorite was uh, Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. Right? Yeah, they look fantastic. I, and, had, I and, had some very gumpy moments in my life. And you were the island in the stream. I was. That is what I are. That is what you are. Uh, so right now I'm making the custard for my caramel flan and I'm just adding condensed milk to uh, my three eggs. And I'm gonna mix this in and then I'm also gonna mix in regular milk and vanilla, and then divide it amongst the molds. Yeah. So what is that, vanilla? Vanilla, yes. Oh, we always need that. Now it's getting super smooth. I'm tempering the cheesy mixture with the eggs and once it's tempered and mixed then I'm pouring it into the souffle cups. I'm just gonna do for now two scoops in each little bowl. Okay. And if I have leftovers I'll add it. You'll go back. I'll go back. I need to make sure they're as uniform as possible. Sure smells good. So when it flips out, it's gonna have that <gasps> on top. Yes. Whoa, here we go. Pouring into the souffle cups. You worked in a skate shop. I did work in a skate shop. Preppy in a skate shop. I was. Preppy in a skate shop. I wore plaid skirts and white button down shirts. But on the phone you'd be like, yo. <laughs> yo, man. <laughs> Hey, dude. I, I cannot see you doing this that. This deck is sick. You need some trucks with that? <laughs> see, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now we're gonna souf. We'll cross our fingers, put them in be the quiet. oven. Be quiet. No kidding. And hope for quiet. in 20 minutes, they're golden and delicious. Oh, we're gonna have to move the oven rack again. <gasps> hey, Siri. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Your timer is set for 20 minutes. She sounds pleasant. Uh, so this is what I made with the balloons, but with strawberries. And then this was what I'm trying to make with those. How are the balloons looking? The balloons are looking good. I would... You're not supposed to eat the balloon part, right? No, not the balloon part. Okay. I think we're going to pass on that. Yeah, these ones on the bottom look good too. Ooh. And then I'm going to make some milk cream. I've got a bowl chilling in the freezer. Ooh. I like the That's way in order to make this work, you had to put all my yogurts into a little tower. Yes, <laughs> leaning tower of yogurt. <laughs> Audrey, listen for me screaming for you. These poor Not naked it. lemons. Do you know what the use for when they're in the state? Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> hey! Oh! A good minute. Yeah, That's a tragedy. This house has gone mad. <laughs> mad with preparation, food preparation. Sorry, this little lemon. Big one. <laughs> you only heard for a minute. 
So what is simple syrup? Explain. Just water and sugar and melt it together so it doesn't... Because, like, when you just put straight sugar, then it... Uh, then it just like all sinks to the bottom. For right. simple syrup, it's a solution rather than a mixture. And you have so to it, cook it. Solutions are when two or more things become one, and a mixture is when two or more things are combined but don't become one. Okay. And anytime, and anytime you have a lemon tree, you should always keep simple syrup in the fridge because then it's super easy to always make lemonade. Wow. No, 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 no. Let me try these. I'm gonna start. Let me uh, check the stakes. The moment of shoot! Um, no, because I'm going to run right back outside. Ooh, wow! Oh, so dramatic. Look at those cheese souffles. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> look at that. We're just going to stay here and oh look at these. Oh my gosh, look at those things. They're so elegant. Each one has an individual personality. Okay. Plot twist. What's plot twist? That the meat is now cooked. <laughs> together my cream. And the bowl, this was the bowl we were chilling earlier. So it stays cold and it becomes whipped cream faster. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody has their own balloon. I don't know where they are, but how about these fridges? Do you have a cheese? Oh, jeez, that's heavy. Wow. This is heavy. Oh, that's the perfect one. Okay. Ready? 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 Oh, I love Look it. Look at that. Do it. Okay, what's happening now? Uh, we're taking them out. Well, I think they're no, going to be They're flawed. Oh, they're supposed to be flawed. Crispy. Oh. So it's going to be like 10 minutes? And it'll flatten out and flan out. And... Mm -hmm. 10 minutes. Wow. I was kind of nervous because I didn't want to. Oh, there it there goes. There it goes. There it is. And then your nice cream sauce. Wow, would you look at that? Now that is fun. Whoa, that is fun. <laughs>